guys, welcome to Plumbing with Tim. Today we're heading to one of our favorite little produce areas uh, to check out a problem that's an ongoing problem. We've been trying to create some solutions for these guys, but it just keeps on reoccurring. So we need to try to diagnose a good way for them to stop having so many stoppages. Let's go. All right, so we're here on location in Palm Bay, Florida. Let me give you a little backstory on this building here. This is one of the most sought after and busiest produce areas in our county. People from all over come here. They just opened the thing up about three, four years ago. And uh, before they opened it up, they had an out of town plumbing company come in and run a bunch of the plumbing and the drains and stuff. And they really screwed it up. I guess they must not have spent much money on that. They got what they paid for. But anyways, they've had a lot of problems with their sewer lines and everything and the floor drains backing up. And uh, we've came through here on a regular basis and we've tried to create some solutions for them. We actually installed a lift station inside uh, by the seafood department in order to create a force main to get a lot of this grease out. But it's still having a problem and uh, we need to go in and figure out what we need to do next. All right, so we're in the back of this produce uh, place. It's a pretty big building. Back over there is where they butcher and they process the meats and stuff like that. And as it comes down through here, there's a lot of coolers down through there with all the produce and meats and stuff. And it comes through, and then it starts getting into other things. And back in here is where they make all the hot foods. So you can come in through the other side and get a nice hot meal and stuff and where the cashier and all that good stuff is. The problem is happening is all that stuff that they're doing back here is getting swept down in the floor drains like meat and guts and fat and stuff. And it travels down through this corridor and as it's going out to the grease trap, it's picking up all the water condensation lines from the coolers, which is freezing cold water, turning all that fat and yuckiness into coagulation. And back in this area, back here on the front of my van inside where the meat department is, is a lift station that we put in a couple years ago. Uh, we had to bust the floor open and bury it in the ground and we created, uh, put a pump in there, created a force main and they're saying that the pump isn't working. So I'm gonna be limited amount of time that I'm gonna be able to say things in there because the employees and stuff, just pay attention and we'll go with it from there. All right, up underneath here is a lift station. Ooh, there it is. You gotta take that off and see why this pump ain't running. Look at the size of that cake of grease. Look at that. Oh, look at that. All right. So we know the pump is working, so we're going to go ahead and put it back down in the hole and put the cover on it and try to get this thing pumped down. I don't know why it wasn't working. One of our other technicians came out to look at it. I, he's never seen this, so maybe he wasn't doing the right thing. So we're going to drop the pump back down in the tank. Let's listen for the pump to get on. Oh. 
All right, there it went. Pump just kicked on. So turn the water off. Pump is pumping all that stuff out. See that in there. Pumped it down. So the pump is working. You guys see that? <laughs> I have to come out and do routine maintenance and stuff because yeah, it's just all the crap they put down these drains and they're so darn busy. It's only 9.30 in the morning and there's people lined up getting food at the seafood and the butcher and all that stuff. They process thousands of pounds of meat and produce and fish and chicken and all that stuff all day long. So we had to put this lift station in and it's working properly and stuff. However, it coagulates in such big balls of grease and stuff, it'll hang that float up. So we're gonna have to try to get them some sort of a detergent that can be added in with that drain system to try to cut that grease down, prevent it from blocking up that float on that pump. Grease, look at that. Ugh. That's all the time we got for this one. Thanks for joining the adventure. Uh, leave a comment down below and let me know if you've ever run into something like this before. We're here all the time working on these drains because there's just so much activity and the place is just getting more and more popular. People from counties around come over here uh, and they do a lot of business, trust me. But there isn't any other way to go about doing it. The only thing I can really suggest at this point is to, like I said, add some sort of detergent to the drain system to try to cut that grease down because it blocks up in such huge amounts and clumps. When it gets down inside of that lift station and stuff, which is a 75 gallon tank, it'll harden up to a point where it hooks on that float and it won't allow that pump to come on to create the force main. Thus, it backs up. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. Till next time, it's been Plumbing with Tim. Keep plumbing.